What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with the US variant of the Samsung Galaxy Note announced at CES 2012. It is finally here in my giant phone loving hands. Let's go ahead, dig in, take a look and see how it stacks up against the European version that I've been using as my dedicated phone for the past month and how it stacks up in the entire range of phones in AT&T's lineup. Let's go ahead and dig in. So in typical AT&T boxing, got the orange box, the white on top. This is the black version. Uh, it's also going to be available in white. Oh, they say it's kind of bluish. We'll see when we take it out of the box. Galaxy Note on the top. We've got some specs and such on the back, but no need to read those. That's what I'm here for. Uh, let's go ahead and open it up. Shouldn't be many surprises in here. Here we've got a quick start guide for, you guessed it, getting started quickly. I don't know, maybe I'm a typical guy, I don't generally read instructions, but should you choose to read instructions, you've got that option. Alright, so here is the Galaxy Note, texting and driving, it can wait. I am being watched as I do this unboxing by our new mobile editor, Todd Hasselton. Todd, say hello. Hey everybody. Alright, so there's the phone, texting and driving, it can wait. Push it off to the side for just a moment, and of course we'll run through all the specs and the rest of that goodness. Uh, let's see what else we're going to have in the box. We've got a warranty guide, so yay. Got a charging cable, and that is standard USB to micro USB. So if you don't have one of these, you've got another one. And we've got the teeny tiny Samsung wall plug to USB. If you don't know how to work this, you have way bigger problems. That end goes into the wall. And that's all that we've got in the box. And the folks at Samsung also sent us, we'll show you this at the end of the video, a S Pen holder kit. Honestly, I have no idea what this is, but we'll discover it together. So if you want to see what's going on in here, stay tuned to the end of the video. All right, so here is the Galaxy Note. I'll go ahead and power this sucker on. I think the battery's already in there since it wasn't in the box. And I'll run, looks like the phone itself is actually on. Um, so hey, no initial boot up. I'll go ahead and peel this stuff off because I know you guys hate to look at it. And we got one here on the back. See if we can get that satisfying whooshing noise. Come on, whooshing noise. Boom. Galaxy Notes. All right, so let me run through the specs of this Mamma Jamma, which is sort of an odd phrase, Mamma Jamma. All right, let's bring the camera in a little bit more, and we can take a look and run through your Galaxy Note. Say it like a sports announcer. Go ahead and slide to unlock, and boom, it is unlocked, and there we've got TouchWiz. All right, so the release date of this guy, uh, the street date is February 19th. Uh, if you pre-ordered before the 16th, you will get yours on February 17th. So, hey, there you go. Uh, price is going to be $299 with a two-year contract. Uh, it is running Android 2.3, so it is gingerbready. Uh, but Samsung and AT&T has said it will get ice cream sandwichy, uh, hopefully sometime in March. Uh, from a dimension standpoint, this is a big phone. It's a 5.3-inch phone, so dimensions are going to be on the larger side. Uh, 5.78 inches by 2.37 inches by a very slim, uh, if I can throw it around, 0.38 inches. It's a surprisingly uh, slim and slender phone. So, hey, there's that dimensions. Uh, it's going to weigh a uh, relatively hefty 6.45 ounces. Uh, the display here, again, 5.3 uh, uh, inches with a resolution of 1280 by 800. So that means you're going to get five rows of icons across as well as just getting a giant screen. Uh, it is WXVGA HD Super AMOLED. Uh, it is a pentile display, in case you guys are uh, keeping track at home. While I was at CES, I got a chance to put a magnifying glass up to it and actually got to see the pixel array. Uh, kind of uh, interesting. All right, so battery, it's got a 2500 milliamp hour battery. It's gonna give you 10 hours of talk time. As I mentioned, I'm using the European variant that does not have LTE. Battery in that guy is surprisingly a little bit bigger at 2600 milliamp hours. Uh, but battery life has been tremendous on that phone. Probably the best battery life I've ever seen. Generally, I'm up for 14, you know, whatever, 16-ish hours. I usually have close to 50% by the time I'm done. But we'll see how LTE uh, affects that battery life. Um, this is a little bit different from the European variant, um, probably to most of your chagrins. Uh, it's using the Qualcomm MSM8660 Snapdragon chipset. Uh, it's dual-core 1.5 gigahertz Scorpion. Uh, on the European version, it was the Exynos Dual Core 1.5 GHz ARM Cortex A8. Uh, so don't let that slower clock speed fool you. Uh, generally speaking, the uh, Exynos chipset 
uh, is relatively faster, but the difference, the reason it had to switch, uh, has to do with getting LTE in there. Uh, same thing we saw with the Galaxy S2 and the Skyrocket uh, on AT&T made that same sort of chipset switch. It's got a gig of RAM, 16 gigs of internal, of course, expandable with micro, US, or micro SD. Rather. Uh, cameras, it's got them as you would expect. It has two of them. On the back of this guy, living right there next to its LED flash, is an 8 megapixel camera uh, that can shoot 1080p video at 30 frames per second. And it's not alone in the camera department. It's got a 2 megapixel friend living up in the upper right hand corner. Uh, this is LTE compatible. It's got Bluetooth 3.0. Uh, it's also got something called the S Pen. Don't call it a stylus or Samsung might get mad at you. Uh, essentially what it does, it uses, I can go ahead and rotate the screen, uh, Wacom technology for different levels of pressure sensitivity that you can write on the screen. So we'll cover this in the full review, and I covered it in my review of the uh, European version of the Galaxy Note. Let's go ahead and hit home. Let's do a real quick walkthrough uh, of the phone, and then I'll do a comparison of that just mentioned uh, European version. So 5.3 in screen. Having used this phone, uh, the screen is gorgeous. It's really hard to sort of show how, how pretty the screen is and how nice it is, at least for me to have a phone this big. Um, when we saw this announced, uh, and I was actually talking with some of the folks around the office, uh, a black phone of this size looks like a tablet to me. White looks more phonish, but that's probably uh, more personal preference. I love the size of the Galaxy Note. Certainly it's not going to be for everyone. Uh, you take a phone like you know, the iPhone uh, 4S, or something like the Galaxy Nexus. Those phones are geared towards mainstream. This is definitely not a phone for everyone, especially this big. Uh, if you've got smaller hands, you might have a hard time with it. If you wear tight pants, it's going to be hard to pocket. Or if you carry a small purse, you know, not going to be for you. But if you are in the subset like me that really like giant phones, or your eyesight might be not the best, and you just like having something bigger, you don't want to carry a tablet on the phone with you, uh, this is going to be worth taking a look at. So we've got four capacitive buttons across the bottom, menu, home, back, and search, pretty standard. On the left-hand side, volume rocker up and down for rocking your volume. On the right, power and lock. On the bottom, we've got microphone, there is your charging and sync port, and we've got that S Pen stylus silo uh, living there. On the top, you've got a microphone. Now, that one is used when you have a speakerphone on. It's noise canceling, 3.5 millimeter headset jack. Uh, on the back, we've got a bit of a textured plastic, and it's that sort of flimsy Samsung back that we've seen on uh, a lot of their phones. So there's that. SIM card lives there. If you want to put in a micro SD card, which does not appear to be included, uh, that's where that guy is going to live, speaker and the rest of the bin is there. So go ahead and snap that in place. So I promised that I would show a comparison um, with the European variant. So I'll go ahead and slide this guy in. I might need to back up the camera, get a wide angle lens to show uh, two phones um, this big. So go ahead and turn that one on and turn that one on. You can see a little puppy Lucy. Uh, so the big difference here, um, obviously aside from the color, and you can pick which color you like best, is this big home button, which I really liked. Uh, AT&T and Samsung did the same thing with the European Galaxy S2 versus the version of the Galaxy S2 that came to the US. Uh, this version has two capacitive buttons on the left and right, and then that big home button. Uh, it's gotten rid of that for obviously the uh, four buttons there on the bottom. Uh, the back, this was a sort of a shiny, um, glossy plastic. Here we've got that textured back. Uh, no Galaxy Note branding here. You've got Galaxy Note branding here. Cameras, both the same. Speaker grills, the same. Silos, uh, just the same. And then, of course, AT&T branding on this one. I'm throwing this around. And uh, no AT&T branding uh, on this guy. So 5.3-inch phone, how's it going to look next to, let's say, a normal-sized phone? Well, I've got your answer. Here is an iPhone 4, same as the 4S. I mean, it almost looks like a like a before and after shot in one of those weight loss commercials. Um, go ahead and stack these two uh, on top of each other and you can really see the difference. But you can also see uh, the thinness of the Galaxy Note. So hey, there's that. Uh, let's bring in a little bit bigger phone. Here is uh, its Android and AT&T friend. This is the Skyrocket. See the size difference there. Stack them. You actually see how thin uh, the Note is. So curious here and what I'm looking forward to checking out in the review. Battery life uh, and the difference in the chipset. Of course, I'll run it through uh, its paces see how it stacks up on the benchmarking, and hopefully we can get that decent performance uh, that I've come to love on the Galaxy Note. So I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. It's been a first look and unboxing at the AT&T Galaxy Note. And for those of you that stuck around, I promised we would see what the heck an S Pen holder kit is. 
So instead of reading on the back what it is, it's more fun to dig in. I'm going to assume that it's not just a holder. It's got to do something else. I can't imagine Samsung would put something out that would just hold your stylus that your phone already does. Um, so I'll give benefit of the doubt. We'll see if I have to pull that benefit of the doubt back, though, in a minute. Go ahead and dig in. And it looks like we've got an extra S Pen. So if you're prone to losing things, uh, that's going to be nice. Uh, there's a button on the S Pen you can actually use to take screenshots and so if you hold the button down and tap the screen, you'll get a screenshot of it. And here is the holder, which it looks like it turns it into a regular size pen. Let's see if we can open this up. And that's all that it does. Um, so I obviously haven't read directions, so maybe I should do that. Uh, but you drop that in, screw this top on, in theory. Come here, there we go. Um, and it turns this into a regular size pen, so it does that if you want that Samsung. Cool. Um, all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Right, guys, this has been an unboxing of the Galaxy Note for AT and T. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to check out the website for all your tech news, unboxing, reviews, ramblings, uh, and sometimes funny jokes. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.